Hello everyone, I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram College, Mysore. In my last session, I have explained some basic theorems in Boolean Algebra. Basically, we have 21 theorems in Boolean Algebra. I have explained till 17. So, the next theorem is 18 theorem. XY plus XY bar is equal to X. Take LHS. LHS is equal to XY plus XY bar. Here, you can take the common factor. X is a common factor. So, you will get x into y plus y bar. So, already I have explained x plus x bar is equal to 1. If x plus x bar is equal to 1, y plus y bar is also equal to 1. In place of y plus y bar, you can write 1. So, x into 1 is x. This is your RHS. So, x y plus x y bar is equal to x. LHS is equal to RHS. Next 19th theorem x plus y x plus y bar is equal to x. Here LHS is x plus y into x plus y bar. So here you can multiply these two terms x into x x x x into y bar y into x is x y y into y bar. So x into x already I have explained x into x is equal to x. And y into y bar or x into x bar is equal to 0. So, in place of x into x, you can write x and x y bar x y and y into y bar and y into y bar, you can write it is 0. In place of y into y bar, you can write 0. So, you will get x plus x y bar plus x y. Here x is a common factor. You can take x is a common factor. You will get 1 plus y bar plus y. Here you can assume y bar plus y. That is equal to x. x is equal to y bar plus y. So assume this is x value. So 1 plus x is equal to 1. Already we have proved in a previous theorem 1 plus x is equal to 1. So, you can assume this is x value, y bar plus y is equal to our x value. So, you will get 1 plus x. 1 plus x means it is 1. So, in place of 1 plus y bar plus y is equal to 1. I will repeat. In place of y plus y bar plus y, you can write it is 1. Why it is 1? So, you can assume y bar plus y is equal to x. So, already we have proved this theorem 1 plus x is equal to 1. So, in place of x, you can write y bar plus y. So, 1 plus y bar plus y is equal to 1. So, x into 1 is x. This is your RHS value. This is our 19th theorem. Our next theorem is x plus x bar y is equal to x plus y. Here, LHS is equal to x plus x bar y. Here, I will add 1 plus y to simplify the expression. In place of x, I will add 1 plus y. What is 1 plus y? 1 plus y is equal to 1 only. So, x into 1, again you will get x only. So, to simplify the expression, I will add 1 plus y. So, multiply this x into 1 plus y. x into 1 is x. x into y is xy plus x bar y. So, here again you can take y is a common factor. Take y is a common factor, you will get x plus x bar. What is x plus x bar? x plus x bar is equal to 1. Already we have proved this. x plus x bar is equal to 1. So, y into 1 is 1. So, you will get x plus y. This is your RHS value. x plus y is your RHS value. So, LHS is equal to RHS. Our last theorem is x into x bar plus y is equal to x y. So, take LHS. LHS is x into x bar plus y. Here, you can multiply this x into x bar and x into y. x into x bar plus x y. So, this is your LHS. You will get x into x bar plus x into y, x, y. So, in place of x into x bar, you can write it is 0. So, what is the formula of x into x bar? It is 0. 
So in place of x into x bar, you can write 0. 0 plus xy is, you will get xy. This is your RHS value. These 21 theorems are very important to simplify the Boolean expression. I will explain how to write the logic diagram. Example, x plus y is equal to y plus x. Here, we are using R operator. We are using R operator. How to write the logic diagram for the given equation? x, we have two input values that is x plus y. So, here we are using R operator. R operator we are using. This is your, it's R signifies the output is equal to y plus x, y and x. We are using logical addition. So, here we are using R operator. This is the symbol of R operator. So, this is your logic diagram for the given equation. So, second equation is x dot y is equal to y dot x. Here, we are using AND operator x and y two input values and we are using and operator r signifies the results and y and x we have to use the r operator and y dot x y x and we have to use the and operator this is and this is and so, this is your logical symbol. So, next equation is x dot y dot z is equal to x dot y dot z. So, how to write the logic diagram? Here, we have three variables. So, x is the first variable and y ended with z. y ended with z. You can connect this x dot y dot z. This is and this is and. So, r signifies the results and we have x dot y dot z. x dot y dot z. So, this is your logic diagram for the given equation called x dot y dot z is equal to x dot y dot z. So, next expression is x into y plus z is equal to x y plus x z. So, how to write the logic diagram? x is ended with y plus z. y plus z here you have we have to use r operator and is equal to is equal to i will write here x y plus x z x y this is and operator and x z x z again we have to use r operator this is x y plus x z. So, next topic is De Morgan's theorem. Very important concept. De Morgan's theorem has suggested two theorems which are extremely useful in Boolean algebra. The two theorems are De Morgan's first theorem and De Morgan's second theorem. Let us understand De Morgan's first theorem. De Morgan's first theorem states that when the or sum of when the or sum of two variables is inverted. Inverted means complemented. The R sum of two variables is inverted. This is same as inverting each variable. This is same as inverting each variable individually. Individually and then adding these inverted variables. I will repeat. The LHS of this theorem represents a NOR gate with two inputs x and y whereas RHS represents an AND gate with inverted inputs. The De Morgan's first theorem can be written as x plus y whole bar is equal to x bar dot 
y bar. This is De Morgan's first theorem. How to write the truth table for this De Morgan's first theorem? Here we have two input variables x and y. So we will get four rows x and y. First write all the combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Next we have x bar, y bar and x plus y, x plus y whole bar and x bar dot y bar. First write the combination of x bar. x complement is x bar. 0 changes to 1, 0 changes to 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is x bar. Next we have y bar. y complement is y bar. 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0. Next we have x plus y. Add x column and y column you will get x plus y. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. This is your x plus y. Next, x plus y whole bar. Next, x plus y whole bar means complement of x plus y. 0 changes to 1, 1 to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is your x plus y whole bar. So, last one is x bar dot y bar. x bar dot y bar means x bar and y bar column. Multiply x bar and y bar column, you will get x bar dot y bar. So, 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 0 into 0, 0. Next, check this x plus y whole bar and x bar dot y bar column. So, these two are identical. We have same truth values. Hence, it is proved. De Morgan's first theorem. De Morgan's second theorem states that when the and product of and product of two variables and product of two variables is inverted. Inverted means complemented. This is same as inverting each variable individually and oring oring this inverted variables. This is our second theorem. De Morgan's second theorem states that the LHS of this theorem represents a NAND gate with two inputs x and y whereas the RHS represents R gate with two inverted inputs. Inverted in inputs means x bar plus y bar. This is your second theorem. How to write the truth table for De Morgan's second theorem? Here we have two input variables that is x and y. De Morgan's theorem can be written as x dot y whole bar is equal to x bar plus y bar. So here we have two variables that is x and y. Write all the combinations of x and y and find x bar. x bar means x combination is x bar 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 1 to 0. Next is y bar, y complement is y bar, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0. So next we have x dot y, multiply the column x and y. So x and y, you have to multiply, you will get x dot y, 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 0, 0, 1 into 1 is 1, x dot y, multiply x column and y column, you will get x dot y. 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 0, 0, 1 into 1 is 1. So next is x dot y whole bar. x dot y complement is x dot y whole bar. 0 changes to 1, 0 changes to 1, 0 changes to 1, 1 changes to 0. So last one is x bar plus y bar. Add these two columns x bar plus y bar, you will get x bar plus y bar. 1 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0. Observe this two columns x dot y whole bar and x bar plus y bar. So both are identical, hence it is verified. So we have two theorems, De Morgan's first theorem and De Morgan's second theorem. De Morgan's first theorem can be written as x plus y whole bar is equal to x bar plus y bar. De Morgan's second theorem can be written as x dot y whole bar is equal to x bar plus y bar.
it is used in simplification of boolean expressions we are using this de morgan's theorems while simplifying the expressions and de morgan's law commonly applied to text searching using boolean operators like and or and not operator and it is useful in the implementation of the basic gates operations with alternative gates so these are the applications of de morgan's theorem so next we have simplification of boolean expression how to simplify the boolean expression simplification of boolean expression can be achieved by two popular methods called algebraic manipulation and carnap maps so in my next session i will be discussing algebraic manipulation and k map thank you